Good morning, this is Steve, KI5JUF. Going to make a video today on programmable memory scanning. This is a feature in the uh, FT991A that allows you to look at certain frequency ranges and scan within those frequency ranges. Uh, for example, if you wanted to look at 28.000 to 28.300.300, you can do that. You can go in and program and look for beacons and things of that nature if you want to listen for uh, anything going on uh, skip wise, propagation on the 10 meter band. This is what we'll cover today in the video. So real quick, the uh, quick overview, the uh, FT991A has uh, 99 what they call regular memory channels and uh, they also have 9 programmable memory scanning memory channels P1 through P9 and each one of these has a lower frequency and an upper frequency that you can scan between. So to give you an example in my little Word document I'm working on I have this example that we're going to program today and the ideal here is we're going to program to listen for 10 meter CW we're going to also program for 10 meter uh, upper sideband and this is the tech area where techs can listen to. So the ideal here is we're going to program this frequency of 28.000 and 28300 and 28300 and 28500 and then we're going to scan between those individual bands there. You see P1 and P2. So to do that we'll move over to the radio and we'll get started. Okay so here's the radio. Right now I'm in memory scanning mode and this is normally the way I leave my radio whenever uh, I'm working and I can listen for various repeaters and things of that nature. So to get out of this mode, we're going to go ahead and uh, first thing I do is lock the, v the VFO, press the VFO in memory once and that will stop the scanning. And then what we want to do is we want to go into VFO mode and we're going to program the uh, P1 lower and the P1 upper. And then we're going to uh, scan between those. So the first thing I'll do is uh, I'm still in memory mode, so I'm going to go to VFO mode. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to band, excuse me, mode first. And uh, since I'm going to be scanning for CW, we're going to put CW upper side band. Now I'm going to go to band, enter, 0280000, and I'll press enter. Now what I do is I press the AM button once and I go down and I turn my multifunction knob till I locate the P uh, there's the P channels right there the P1 upper and lower. So this one I'm going to put this one in the lower so I'm going to press and hold it and you notice the blue line whoops there P1L. It's very important. You've got to make sure you're in the lower and you see the blue line around the channel. Press and hold it. That'll program it. Now what we do is we program the upper end. So to do that, we're still in the uh, CW upper sideband. 0 to 8, uh, sorry, 0 to 8, 300. Press enter. Now we press the AEM button again. I'm still in CW upper sideband. And now we're going to pick PU, P1 upper. Press and hold. Okay, now we just wrote that frequency. Now what we're going to do is we're going to program the second bank, which is P2. So to do that, what we'll do is we'll, we're still in VFO mode. Now, since the next bank, the lower frequency is 28300, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I'm going to, but I do have to change the mode to upper sideband. And now we're going to re enter the frequency again. We're in upper sideband. 28300. Uh, and this is the beginning of the voice, or phone they call it. That's the, uh, go ahead and press enter. Now I'm going to press and hold the AM button once. Now we're going to select P2. This is the lower frequency. Press and hold the AM button. 
Now I'm going to go back, since we're still on upper sideband, we're going to go ahead and enter the upper frequency, 0280000. Whoops, I told you, I said 28.500. 0285000. Press enter. Still in upper sideband. Press and hold the AM button once. Now I'm going to scroll here to the 2U and I'm going to press and hold the button. And again, when I do that, that frequency is going to populate down there in that little P2U. There it goes. It just populated. So if I wanted to look at the list, I could press and hold. And there's what we just programmed. And if you wanted to tag these, you could. I'm going to put here just something real simple. Tag uh, 10 meter. Ten meter uh, CW uh, dash L. And then on this one here, I'm going to put. Uh, Ten meter CW dash U. So there, there we just named them right there. And if I wanted to name these, I could name this one uh, tag ten meter. USB USB and I'm in the lower and I could name this one here tag upper now I've got them all tagged so we have Lower upper CW, lower upper USB. All right, now we're back. Now, to scan these particular bands that we just entered, I'm going to press the VM and I'm going to go back to memory mode. Now, there's our channels that we just entered. Memory 1L, the lower portion is 2800, the upper portion is 28300. The lower portion here for the USB is 28300 and the upper is 28500. So to scan these, what you can do is, and I don't know if this is, there may be a better way to do it, but this is the only way I've been able to get it to successfully work, is what you'll do is you'll unlock the, VF, unlock the VFO and I turn the VFO slightly to the right. Now watch this. When I turn this to the right, that's going to go from memory mode to uh, programmable memory scanning. See how it did that? Now, we go to function, locate the scan button, and it's right there. And now we are scanning that first bank that we entered, which was 28.000 28.300 and we're scanning it in CW upper sideband. So you can sit here and be working while your radio is scanning and you can listen to different um, you know different bands or different modes. Now I suppose you could actually program the radio to go from 28.000 to 29.700 however um, that may not be very efficient because depending on the particular area of that spectrum you're in, you may be in a FM mode or an AM mode or a CW or a USB mode. So my thinking is segment the mem programmable memory scanning by the mode. So that way if you're listening and a CW comes in, your, your radio is in the proper mode where you can at least hear it. So to go back to memory mode, press the VM button once, and again now we're back in memory mode. So I pressed it twice. So I'm going to clear this out. 
And if I wanted to listen to the second bank that we entered, which was 28300 to 28500, I would again select it, turn the VFO slightly to the right, and it'll go to PMS mode, programmable memory scanning, and then I go to function and touch scan. Now we're scanning that second bank of memory channels. So ideally what you could do is, if you wanted to listen for bake beacons or propagation or anything of that nature, you could have your radio in the uh, radio shack or wherever you have it, and you could be listening. And uh, you could listen for anything that's going on. So if something were to come across, it would actually stop. So one other thing I will show you um, that might be useful for scanning is uh, there is a mode in here where on the FT991A if you actually um, it will scan but it will cont it will skip right over the channel so what I did was I figured out that if you go to menu setup and let's go back let's get out of this mode I'm going to press the VM once press it again and go back to memory now what I'm going to show you is I'm going to press and hold the menu setup button and what I'm oops press it once briefly and I'm going to select number 38 down here what 38 is 38 is called uh, mic scan resume and now you notice I have it in pause one little tip here anything in blue is default for example where you see the enabled that is the default setting and I'm going to go ahead and select 38 now what I've done is I've got it into pause now if I change it back to its default which is time you see how it just changed to blue when the when it picks up and stops scanning or it stops scanning because it picked up a signal on a frequency the time setting will hold that and about five seconds later it's going to go ahead and continue scanning even though someone may still be talking if you want the radio to pause on the particular frequency that has activity and stay on that frequency until the activity is is cleared or the, the transmission is clear you'll want to change this to time or pause excuse me you will want to change it to pause and then you press enter and then you do back. So now in this mode if you're scanning a particular band or anything if there is a transmission and your radio will now stay on that frequency until the transmission is completed. In the other setting it would just pick up scanning three, three or four seconds later regardless if someone was talking or not. So anyway that's the video. Uh, just wanted to go over a quick review of what we did. We programmed the programmable memory and I'll show you. We're going to go back over to the computer so you can look at it. And there is what we did. So our exercise today was we took uh, the P1 and the P2 and we programmed a lower frequency and an upper frequency and we gave it a tag so you can now scan certain uh, frequency spectrums. So you you know there's I've, I've got some more examples here where I was going to do uh, 10 meter AM and then 10 meter FM but uh, I don't have time on this video so anyway I hope this is helpful for the programmable memory scanning remember you have nine programmable memory banks that you can set a lower frequency and an upper frequency and you can scan anywhere between those so good luck and uh, this is Steve KF5JUF